All that screaming. Let's take a look again at how slow the vehicle was going. So they basically partially let their foot off the brake on a flat road. And now they're sitting on the hood and uh, threatening to break windows and yeah. You're running over people. No, they're bumping someone. If they were running over someone, it would look more like this. So they need to get a clue. Get a picture! Get a picture! Actually, no, uh, they're not part of the problem. The people who are blocking traffic and not getting out of the way when someone creeps up on them uh, and then gets on the hood, yeah, they're part of the problem. No, they're, they're not going to jail for creeping up on people who are in the road illegally like that. No, that, that's, that's not going to happen. That's right, be the thugs that you are and start pounding on the car. Good job. That's, that's how you show that, that your lives really matter a lot. Let's go, let's go! Keep it moving! Keep it moving! Wait, wait, wait. Seems to be the only sensible person there saying, keep it moving, keep it moving. That's the sensible person. That's the person who knows what the fuck is going on. That's the person who I believe is the one that later on says, uh, hey, they're not, they're, the, the cops aren't going to take our side. You're right, they're not going to take your side. Let this dude get off. Keep it moving. Then get out of the fucking way. No, we're not killing. We're trying to stop people. The cops are not going to take our cars, so we need to keep moving. Keep moving. Bitch, bitch, bitch. You think you're so fucking cool? You can't run people over. Keep moving. I see a familiar attitude going on here. We are real! We are trying! We're, We're gonna guy. give you! We're gonna let you on the mic! Shut the fuck up for the 50th billion time! No! You hit somebody with your car! Yeah, you hit someone with your car! They bumped someone, tapped someone with their car. Nobody got hurt. Everybody, let's go, let's go, come on, come on, keep moving! What do we want? No, fuck! What do we want now? Right. What do we that want? Right. Right. That white boy called it a riot. That white boy called it a riot. Now, at least this group of people were smart enough to know how hypocritical they would look if they were to call the cops while uh, preaching, no cops, no cops, no cops. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! S four nine B zero four. I think was their license plate. This group of people, not so much. 
let's call the cops for there being no injuries the person is going slow enough that there's no plowing through but you're going to try to call the cops on them report their license plate number and guess what you lost the person driving the vehicle won <laughs> i gotta go to ross right now honey but i don't get there i'm gonna get fired so i got six kids to feed and these niggas call those day goes on homie he's out every day deal with it the right way not like this i fully agree this was the scene this morning. Thousands of irate commuters at a standstill. Some getting out of their cars and taking matters into their own hands. One of the many angry drivers trying to get to work this morning was Tyree Landrum. In a moment that ended up going viral this morning, he got out of his car and pushed one of the protesters towards the center divider, wrestling his bullhorn away. The protesters were chanting, no justice, no peace. Landrum wanted to send his own message. <laughs> Many drivers felt the same sentiment, that the main injustice here was preventing them from getting to work in the middle of morning rush hour. You guys don't have to go to work. They don't really know anything about the real issue, you know? They're just complaining about something that could be dealt with differently. <laughs> Meanwhile, many healthcare workers out of their cars and in their scrubs trying to get to area hospitals. People, we have doctors and nurses who have the same life here, okay? So, Burke is in. I see you guys are still on some dumb shit. So now you're done robbing and looting people for no reason. Now you want to get on the interstate and stop your city from receiving its goods? Come on now, I just left there. And I'm going to tell you, as a truck driver, I dare you to get on the freeway in front of me because I'm going to run y'all dumb asses over. So go ahead and get on the freeway and then explain to me when you get your dumb asses ran over, why are you even on the freeway? For what? Thank you and have a nice day. Ta-ta. Now that's a cool lady. That's exactly what I would have done. There's a car that's trying to get in. Too bad.